section of courseware later in this presentation. This session on Edmonton's courseware is due to last 40 minutes and there will be opportunities for question and answer throughout. Please feel free to add your questions via the question and answer panel at the bottom of your screen and we will make sure that we consider them throughout the presentation. Before I discuss courseware, I'll spend a little bit of time introducing you to Edmonton and the other solutions that we offer. One of the most important things to say is that we are very much educator first. We put you, the educator, at the centre of everything we do. Every solution that we build is to support teachers and help you do your jobs more effectively. You are the experts in pedagogy and it is in your knowledge, experience, expertise and enthusiasm that drives learning. We specialise in online learning and our programmes are literally built for the current teaching and learning scenarios we find ourselves in. The last six months have been very challenging and I fully expect the next six to 12 months will continue to be too. I must congratulate you all on the amazing work that you've done so far. I know former colleagues have been working 18 hour days to digitize their face-to-face -face resources, develop asynchronous videos and adapt to new technology. Our solutions are aimed at making your job easier. They're designed by educators and have the latest pedagogical models embedded into them. They are proven to significantly reduce teacher preparation and marking loads, and the content supports differentiation. The assessments provide real formative feedback that helps you measure learning that has taken place and decide on how to structure your instruction moving forward. Edmonton are a truly multinational corporation. We have offices in the US and in the UK. 14 million students are using our assessments and resources and over a million teachers are incorporating them into their lessons. We are being used by schools in over 80 countries around the world. We work with ministries of education such as ADEC in Abu Dhabi, school groups such as ALDA and GEMS, the biggest school group in the Middle East. We work with a growing number of schools in other parts of the world, such as Asia, Latin America and Africa. The name Edmonton is relatively new, but we've been involved in learning since 1960. If the name Edmonton is unfamiliar to many, our brands such as Study Island and Plato Courseware are well known. Plato Learning is where online education started. The first course was developed by Plato Learning out of the University of Illinois. It has evolved since then and is now standards aligned and available from grades 6 to 12. It is digital curriculum that provides educators with all of the materials and resources they need to teach a course. It includes the syllabus, teaching and learning content, tutorials, videos, assessments and grade books. All of the content is digitised and created ready for distance, hybrid and blended learning. Engaging digital content is replacing textbooks and expanding what teachers can do within a traditional classroom or indeed a blended learning environment. Study Island helps educators boost student achievement with proven effective K-12 standards-based formative assessments, meaningful practice and embedded high-stakes test preparation in maths, English language arts, science and social studies. Ed Options Academy is our online school. We partner with schools and our online school becomes an extension of their school. It is cognitive accredited and being used to support schools with teacher shortages, enable them to support their students with credit recovery programs, expanding the variety of the courses that are available to them, and as an additional resource to support recovery from the COVID slide. Exact Path is the jewel in our crown and is being used by thousands of schools around the world. It's a K-12 maths, reading and language arts programme that is proven to help students grow and make progress. It starts with an adaptive ses assessment, which can be NWEA map, and then takes that data and creates a personalised playlist of content for each student. It provides instruction, allows them an opportunity to practice, and then presents them with a mastery quiz. 
Whilst this is happening, there is live formative feedback to the teacher so that they can monitor progress and intervene where necessary to provide extra support. Edmonton itself came into existence in 2012 and we focus specifically on online learning. We are built on online learning and we are experts in it. To give you some context of how busy we have been over the last six months, our online school Ed Options Academy has grown enrolments by 462%. Exact Path and Courseware customers have increased by 157%. Study Island has seen a 47% increase. There are 1.3 million content launches every day and we've seen a 65% increase in the consultation sessions that we are delivering. We are truly putting educators first and helping you to deliver the best online teaching and learning experiences possible. As I've mentioned, everything that we do is aimed at making the educator's job easier. We develop solutions that enable educators to personalize learning so that they can have a maximum impact on student growth. We are experts in developing digital curriculum that is aligned to common core and state standards and is based upon the latest pedagogical thinking and learning design principles. We provide assessments that can be used formatively and summatively to accurately measure the learning that is taking place. We are one of the few companies who actually produce the content and the curriculum and can therefore integrate them effectively so that we can personalize learning for each student as much as possible. We are also involved in educational consultancy work around the world with governments and have a brilliant implementation team that work with schools to ensure they have successful implementations and they're getting maximum benefit out of our courses. Today's session then will be on courseware. Our courseware has come a long way since inception in 1960 as Plato. It was an answer to the pressing need for greater access to high quality education. Plato was initially funded by a number of grants that supported science and engineering education and became the first computer assisted learning system. Today, our Edmonton courseware has withstood the test of time as we continue to provide high quality, rigorous curriculum that can be assessed anytime and from anywhere. Edmonton's award-winning courseware is proven by third party efficacy and we partner with educators to provide state and national standards aligned curriculum in a customizable environment. We offer over 300 full semester courses equating to 300,000 hours of instruction. Our courseware is available for students from grades six to 12. From K to eight, we have a different problem solving based curriculum called Calvert Learning. The courses are built on the latest learning science, include all of the course teaching and learning content, videos, tutorials, assessments, and has integrated workbooks for the students and mark books for the teachers. There are a broad range of courses available that include in advanced placement, electives, and career and college readiness. I will send a link out of the full library of courses after this webinar. All of the content is digitized and created ready for distance, hybrid and blended learning. As with any other aspect of education, at the core of quality content development is a team of knowledgeable and dedicated people. At Edmonton, we are proud to have built a curriculum team of experts in a variety of subjects who have thousands of years in total of combined real classroom teaching and technology experiences behind them and to understand what good instructional strategies look like. Our courses can be used in a variety of different ways, which include simply as a replacement for the textbook. Our courses contain all of the material and tutorials that a student would need to pass a course, but crucially, it does much more than just that. Assessments are built into it. 70% of these are marked by the system automatically, which reduces the marking workload for the teacher. There are integrated grade books, which are automatically populated as the system marks the student's work. It can also just be used as an assessment tool for which a teacher can award reliably a credit at the end of a course. 
Students are using it for credit recovery, original credit, and to access a wider range of courses than their school may not necessarily offer. It is a great tool for credit recovery. There are pre-tests built into each unit of the course. If a student scores highly enough on the pre-test and proves that they understand and have mastered those particular topics, they are exempted and don't have to repeat that content. This means it personalizes the process and students are only repeating content they are unsure of rather than re redoing complete courses. I will now hand over to Gareth, our product manager, who will take you through a live demonstration of courseware. Thank you, Paul. So yeah, I'm just going to share my screen with you so you can um, take a look at courseware in a little, little bit more detail. I'm, the first screen I want to show you is this one, which is our actual, uh, what, an example of our course. This is English grade 10, semester A. Um, all of our courses are a semester long, so they are around 18 weeks to complete, um, if the student is also doing, obviously, their full-time courses as well. As Paul mentioned, there's over 400 courses within Courseware, ranging from the core courses of uh, language arts, math and science, to things like electives and college and career readiness and things like that. So there's a huge range of courses that you can pull from. Each, if you're using the US system, are worth half a credit. And as mentioned, I'm in the semester A here, and I want to show you what the, um, the layout is of our courses. They're completely digital, and this they're broken down into units, from three units up to six units, depending on how that course is broken down. And within those courses, then, you have the topics, which are broken down into tutorials and mastery tests. And I'm just going to show you an example of, of what these look like. Also, we have discussions, so students can get involved and uh, discuss topics with their peers, and the teachers can then come in and mark that. As Paul mentioned, around 70% of this is automatically marked. So basically, any of the assessments are automatically marked, but there are certain areas which are teacher marked, and I'll, I'll tell you about those in a bit more detail in a moment. So our tutorials, these are pretty much like digital workbooks and they can range between 20 pages and 60 pages, depending again on the complexity of the topic. And they're a mix of video, um, image, sound, uh, and things to read as well. And the, the idea of these is that the students can either do this completely independently, and it has all the information that they would need to learn this particular topic. Or if you want to do this as a whole class, you want you obviously can do and share the screen either on a smart board or if you're doing your um, lessons online at the moment, you can do that as well. So the idea of this is that the students can work through this at their own pace. Obviously, uh, when you get to above 20 pages, it's quite a lot to take in in one, in one uh, sitting. So we provide the ability to save and come back to it. On the left hand side here, we also have a lot of resources. So anything the student might need, um, it could be, and it's all completely digital. They have this here. It could be an excerpt from a text, some worksheets as glossaries, anything that the student might need to understand this topic further will be in the resources. We also have dictionaries here, a click to speak and slide narration tool. And we also have a translate option, which allows you to copy and paste the text and then translate it into a whole host of languages, which you can see here. So it's a nice little um, adage on the side there that's not translating everything, but it allows some support just in case the student needs that support um, with the English language learning. They also have a highlighter and a notebook that they can pull from and save as they go through and come back to. So it really is like a digital workbook um, with practice questions within it and a lot of detail. It's very thorough. And that's what all of the tutorials are, um, look like. They have that sort of same sequence to them. And from there, they then do a mastery test, which looks a bit like this. And the mastery tests um, uh, can be multiple choice questions. Uh, I'm logged in as an administrator, so I get the answer key. But obviously, a, teacher, a student wouldn't get that. So there could be multiple choice, drag and drop, and 
the idea of them is to show mastery. They usually get asked five questions and there is a bank of questions. So if the student does fail something and needs to come back to it, they'll get a different set of questions once they've retaken that tutorial. They would do that tutorial and mastery test piece all the way through. So um, each topic would have that tutorial and mastery test. They would then get the unit activity and a, a unit activity again is one of those teacher marks pieces because it's usually something like an essay or uh, sort of uh, something that the students have to input their own text into. And that allows to the students to show you a deeper understanding of the topic, but also a different way of thinking about their, their coursework. They also get uh, their rubric, so they know what they're working towards. And you, when you're marking this, get that as well. But as you go through, you can see we've got a multiple part questions here and the students actually have to type something. And the reason, again, that's teacher marks is because it's something that's quite difficult for a computer to mark when a, a student is actually writing their own answer. So they would do that and then at the end of the get a post test, which would give them questions on everything they've done in that particular unit. And they, the same layout applies to all of the units and at the end of that, they get an end of semester test, which will give them questions on everything in here. If you're using this for something like credit recovery, um, we do have our pre-tests as well, which will give them an assessment before they do any work, and it will exempt them from anything they have already mastered within courseware. So it's a nice way of um, really speeding up that process. I mentioned it's 18 week course, but if you need to halve that time, if you're doing it for a summer course, or as I say, credit recovery, pre-test is a really good option. And that brings me on actually to our new Accelerate courses. Research demonstrates that students may have lost more than 50% of math gains and 30% of reading gains made in the previous school year. And that's due to the, the school closures related to, to COVID-19. So we have uh, ex provided Accelerate courses which make it easy for educators to address the varying levels of readiness you will undoubtedly encounter at the start of the school year. These are, you can see here, the Accelerate Algebra, English and so on. They're five to nine week mini courses and they don't simply review content that may have been missed in the previous year or semester. Rather, they accelerate courses and they provide direct instruction in the essential prerequisite skills that students need to master to be successful in each of their high school math and ELA courses. And they're actually just part of the language arts and math courses that we've just added as a support for um, the, the major changes that are going on in a lot of schools at the moment. Courseware from a teacher and administrator point of view is really powerful in terms of the amount of data that you can get and how you can manage the courses to make sure that the students get the support they need and that they stay on track. I'm logged in as an administrator. I can see all of the courses that are going on at the moment. I can see the time on task, the amount of credits earned within them. And when I click on these, you actually get a much deeper view of how the students are doing. Um, so you can get sort of whether they're on pace um, and how to help them make sure they stay they stay on track. So my students here in this course, I can see based on the end date I put in, whether my students are off pace, slightly off pace, ahead of pace and so on. Um, and when I look at my class here, this is a biology class and it actually has some virtual labs within it. You can see with the activities completed, the black line is where they should be in this total bar and the color, that's where they actually are. So at this point, they should have done um, 21 activities by now. But Brittany, for example, has done 19. And um, Zalika here has only done four. So you get an instant impression of how your students are doing. Uh, and then you can maybe send them a message and say, let's meet up and talk about your progress. Uh, and it's a really quick way to see whether your students are going to complete the course on time. You also get obviously the, the grade that they're currently on, but you also get a predictive grade, which is our current grade here. So based on the work that they've done, 
this is predicting what they're going to get based on the the scores they've got and everything else um, and obviously that gets more accurate as you go through and complete the course so this is really useful example like for example with Brittany here that's she's predicted to get a B but maybe she needs an A to get into the university she wants so if I click on Brittany's name and then get a breakdown of the the work and how she's done in each particular piece the time on task I can get a report for all of her pre-tests and her tests and I can see anything that she might struggle with in her scores as well so you can get as much detail as you need for this course um, and even down to the weekly progress to make sure that she's staying on task. You have full flexibility of the curriculum. So if you have a piece in here that you need to maybe omit, so let's say those pre-tests, for example, they're usually reserved for students who are doing um, credit recovery, let's say. You can actually just hide those or omit those so the students don't see them. You can move things around. So if you want to do cells in a, in a different area, you can just move those around. So you have complete autonomy over this course and how it's presented to the students. You're also able to have a grade book and that automatically populates all of the scores into a grade book. And whether this is, if you have a digital grade book already, you can download the reports. Um, and we do have in, some integrations with some of the systems as well, like Blackboard. But you can download the reports as well, or you can use this as your grade booking system completely, as it does embed all of the scores automatically. And you can change the categories and weights and the grading scales as you see fit. So you can see there's lots of detail here. Um, there is lots of data that you can get to the point where you can get come into our reports here. And you can generate a whole host of different reports from here, whether that be a course progress report, uh, weekly progress, audit reports, and they can be done at a one-time basis, or you can schedule them. So let's say you need that uh, weekly progress report every Friday. You can That can be waiting for you on Friday morning when you get in, so that you can then send that up to who you need to, um, or make, um, make those evaluations yourself. So really powerful reporting tools here. Um, one of the pieces of um, feedback that we've got recently, especially um, a lot of schools are looking for this curriculum, digital curriculum, whether the students have come back into class now because of um, COVID or whether things, even if they have, a lot of schools are making those plans for the future to say they might need to go digital again. So Courseware offers um, not only the full curriculum, but we allow a lot of flexibility in terms of customizing this as well because we have a custom course builder within this that allows you to use our courses as the base um, and then add your own content into it so let me show you what that looks like when i come into here i can select either from standards or um, the actual course themselves so let's take any of these examples i can pull from any of my courses i've got advanced so uh, ap courses here um, so let's do that. I can just drag and drop a unit into here. And then maybe that's that's semester A, but maybe in my advanced chemistry, I can, um, my semester B unit two is in my semester A. So I'm gonna drop those in. What you can then come and do is remove pieces that you don't teach in your course. And then maybe you can add a piece that you do and just drop that in there. And what that will do, it will automatically remove those questions and um, from the pre-test and the post-test. And then if you add anything in, it will automatically add those questions to the pre-test and the post-test as well. So there's nothing you have to do in terms of editing assessments within this. It all does it for you. And then what you can do is add in documents, Dropbox activities, and uh, website links of your own to really make this course suit not only your class, but your whole school. So what we do as part of our um, implementation, if you need to um, edit our courses in any way and build this based on your own curriculum, we allow you the time to do that. And we work with you to make sure that you're happy and then you can launch that within your school. So if you do need to make these adjustments to your curriculum, once you've done that once, 
that will save in your accounts for as long as you have it. Um, and you can come back to it year after year, knowing that it really matches the curriculum um, that you have there. And that's a really brief overview of Courseware. As I say, it's a very powerful tool. There's lots that you can do with it, whether that be just picking and choosing pieces of work to, to do. Um, the students can do this in their own time. You can do it in class if you want to. We have a lot of examples of schools that um, use this in many different ways. And we work with each school to show them how it can be adapted. Um, so uh, back over to you, Paul. Thank you, Gareth. Let me just uh, take control. Okay. As with any other aspect of education, at the core of quality content development is a team of knowledgeable and dedicated people. At Edmonton, we are proud to have built a curriculum team of experts in a variety of subjects who have thousands of years in total combined real classroom teaching and technology experience. They understand what good instructional strategies look like. The courseware now features over 65,000 technology enhanced items and is built to fully engage students and maximize curriculum content retention. A cornerstone of Edmonton's courseware is the principle of constructivist learning, a dynamic interaction between the learner and the subject matter. Constructivist learning theory posits that learners must be active participants in the process of constructing their own knowledge. One of the most important resources to help drive student achievement is high quality curriculum that aligns to state and national academic standards. With that in mind, Edmonton has placed a strong emphasis on aligning our courses to state specific standards and focused on our goal to become the leader in state course approvals among all online course, all our, all our online course providers. Our courseware has validation from outside sources to provide feedback on what's working and what needs to be improved. We're confident in the content development process we've created because we've sought out and received validation from state agencies, review groups, Certica, Quality Matters, the College Board and WebAlign. We share your passion for learning and our organisation of former educators and professionals are driven by our mission to empower futures one student at a time. It's not just a job to us and our team has thousands of years of combined teaching and education experience. Our, our schools that partner with us are our greatest advocates and it's a privilege to be able to say that because they recognise the quality of the products that we produce. We are also able to integrate with school management systems such as Clever, ClassLink, Google for Education, Schoology, Moodle, Canvas and Blackboard. Thank you for your time today. I will just hand back over to Gareth who's been collating the questions that have come in and will be able to respond to them for you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Paul. Um, just a couple of questions here. Uh, one of them was about the, the devices. Uh, and what devices that can courseware can be used on and yeah the courseware can be used on any device it's completely tablet friendly it can be used um, on phones whatever device you have it can be used um, another one of the questions that come through is about the supports that we give and the training that would happen um, with a, a subscription like this so yeah um, we provide as much support as you need and we actually Think of our um, schools as partners. So when we start a subscription, what we do is we um, talk to the schools and build out an implementation plan. And that includes obviously initially the, um, the training, but from there, um, the, after that initial training, we always stay in touch with our schools, with, usually on a monthly basis to make sure that everything is going okay. Uh, any new starters to get them up, trained and up and running and provide any, any advice that the school might need. So we take on board the goals. Um, I mentioned that a little bit earlier. Any of the goals that you have on implementing something like courseware can be so varied from school to school. Uh, and we have a lot of experience on talking to a lot of schools. So whatever 
the, um, the goals that you have for implementing a digital curriculum. We can provide training and advice throughout the school year and beyond um, to make sure that you reach those goals. And at the end of that academic year, we can look back and, and learn any lessons um, and share success of that as well. So we, as I say, it's very much a partnership. Um, and yeah, th those are the, the only questions that have come through so far, Paul. Okay, thank you, Gareth. Um, I hope we've demonstrated how courseware is being used by schools to support their blended hybrid and distance learning programmes, how it can be used as a solution for credit recovery or for the provision of additional courses. In its simplest form, it could be a replacement for an existing textbook you are using, but it is much, much more than that and includes assessments, mark books, tutorials, videos and workbooks. Most schools will purchase our courseware and, they'll staff it, and their staff will use it to deliver their courses in their schools. However, we have also got a Cognier accredited online school called Ed Options Academy. This is where our teachers use our courseware to teach your students. This is an option used by many schools for credit recovery programmes, offering additional electives or AP courses, and indeed covering teacher shortages. If you would like to learn more about courseware or indeed our Edge Options Academy, please feel free to make contact with me. My email address is on this slide and we will share these slides with you after the session. We can offer individual school demonstration, trials and support. Once again, thank you for your time today and the work you are doing educating our young people around the world. Thank you.